In 1964, only 16 years after the creation of the State of Israel, the International Association of Educational Evaluation conducted its first comparative study of educational achievement in Israel. Israel ranked first place in mathematics, ahead of countries such as Sweden, Britain and Japan. In 2006, when the OECD conducted an equivalent study, Israel had fallen dramatically to 40th place out of 57 in mathematics and in the bottom 30% for science. How is this possible for a country that has had five Israeli Nobel Science laureates? The problem is, our Nobel Prize laureates and leading scientists are all products of the Israeli education system of the 60s. And that system has lost the relative advantage that it had in the first decade since statehood. And as we move further away from the center of the country, the situation gets worse as this is where many low-income families, and particularly the new immigrant population, are living. At this rate, a decade from now, we may not have any new Nobel laureates. We may not have a leading high-tech industry. We may not have a leading scientific and research community. And even worse, the dangers of a weak educational system can seriously affect the technological supremacy of the IDF, putting the whole country at risk. But what caused Israel's education to go downhill so quickly? A combination of several factors. The erosion of infrastructure. The brain drain of quality teachers. Slashing of school hours to below the necessary minimum. These are the economic side effects of Israel's heavy investment in defense and security. Something drastic has to be done. Recognizing World Ort's global expertise, Minister of Education Professor Yuli Tamir turned to us in 2006, asking if we can help remedy this dire situation by providing cutting-edge technology to Israel's schools. And at the same time, to provide the teachers with intensive training so that they can use the new technology. In response, World Ort created Kadima Mada, Science Journey, and launched a pilot program introducing smart classes into six schools in the periphery of Israel. The goal was to turn these schools into the highest achieving schools in the country. This pilot program was monitored by the Henrietta Sold Institute. And within three years, World Ort had proven that with the right intervention, an entire school can be turned around. In 2010, with the help of Seymour Schulich of Toronto, Donors throughout the world and ministries of Galilee, the Negev, and of Education, World Ort launched an innovative program to deploy smart classes throughout the north of the country. This will be followed by a similar program in the south, with Seymour Schulich and the Toronto Federation joining the partnership. This will make a total of 100 schools in the north and 100 schools in the south. In a short period of time, all the schools in this new project are being dramatically upgraded both in student achievement levels and in student motivation. This education revolution that World Ort is bringing about is still only touching a fraction of the country. But with the help of donors worldwide, World Ort intends to scale up the smart class program throughout Israel's periphery, as well as disadvantaged neighborhoods in the center of the country. By doing this, we are not just helping a child or just helping a class or even a school. We are actually putting the education of the entire country back on a successful track and affecting the strategic advantage that the State of Israel must have in order to exist amongst its neighbors.